Everybody is trying to get more traffic, get more leads, and increase conversion. I'm here to solve your problem. Check out this short video. Hello, it's Paul Venables here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a quick demo of how you can use My Traffic Jacker to research keywords and find broken and available domains that you can start using today to start sending traffic to any link you want. So right now, as you can see, we're in the keyword research section. And this is a section here on this left sidebar. It's one of our tabs inside of My Traffic Jacker. If you already have some keywords in mind, you can simply just go to this research section where we can start finding those available domains. But for right now, I'm gonna come in here so we can get more information about some general keywords, like for instance, weight loss. This is a keyword that's very competitive and it may not have a lot of available domains to buy that are associated to top ranked videos right now. So instead, we're going to dig a little bit further and find additional keyword terms that are related to weight loss. So I'm just gonna click the search button and it's gonna pull up the additional keywords that are around this general topic of weight loss. So we can see weight loss programs, weight loss pills, weight loss transformation, weight loss shakes, weight loss journey, this is a good one. This is often a very hot topic inside of YouTube. So I'm just gonna click this magnifying glass so that we can search this keyword using the research section of My Traffic Jacker. Now at first you can see it'll give us the option to select the platform that we want to use to search. As you can see, there's YouTube and there's also Wikipedia. So when YouTube has been selected, it will allow us to search the top ranked videos in YouTube that are around this topic. And when Wikipedia is selected, that will allow us to search various Wikipedia pages that are related and have some kind of connection to this topic of weight loss journey. Now this is a great feature because it'll allow us to find expired domains inside of authority pages in Wikipedia, which can be great for getting more traffic, more page authority, and more link juice for ranking higher in the search engines. But for right now, we're just gonna select YouTube so we can research all the videos that are ranked around this keyword. And below that, we have upload date. This is automatically set by default to be about six months later than the current date. That way, it'll just be researching the videos that are six months and older because the likelihood of older videos to be forgotten about and have expired domains inside of them will be a little bit greater. Now, obviously, we can just change this over here and select a different date if we want. We can even select the current date so that it'll allow us to search everything because there still is the possibility of a recently uploaded YouTube video that has a very old domain that eventually gets expired. And then we have the order section that will allow us to select either relevance or view count. When we select relevance, it'll be searching everything that is closest related to this keyword term. And then when we select view count, it'll start with the videos with the highest views. So I'm just gonna keep this as relevant. And then I'm gonna go down here. We can add in domains to ignore. If we're constantly doing searches and we're finding domains that come up around our niche that we're wanting to ignore, we can just add these in here. By default, we've added in the top 500 websites according to Moz. Now these sites are sites like Facebook and Twitter where the actual root domain is a very big, large authority domain because if someone has a broken link inside of Twitter, we wouldn't want that to be reported because we couldn't just come in and buy Twitter. Okay, so now that we have our keyword entered, I'm just gonna select create and that's now gonna go out and research all of the YouTube videos around this keyword and it'll scrape those videos to find all of the links inside of those videos and to see if those links are broken or not. And from those broken links, it's gonna take it a step further and find the links that are also readily available for us to go in and buy right now. That way we can immediately pick up those domains and start sending targeted traffic to any link that we want. So as you can see right now, it shows us a list of results. This video here has 207,000 views. And as you can see, we have the video URL, the channel name, and also the domain that's inside of the video. As you can see down here, it says domain is available with links to GoDaddy and Namecheap. Because I've set them up in my domain registrar section of my traffic jacker, it'll allow me to just simply click on this link and buy it from the domain registrar of my choosing. We also have a section called the actions button. 
And the Actions button will allow us to do a deeper research of the domain as well as all of the videos and web properties associated to that domain because there's a possibility that there's going to be a lot more videos even videos outside of this youtube channel that could be using this domain so if you want to see every single video that's sending traffic to this link before you buy it you can do that with the actions button also if you want to save this result so that we can go back and do more research on it later we can just click this save icon here and it'll be sent to our save results tab in my traffic jacker. Now, if we wanna see the other results below, we'll just scroll down. As you can see, this video here has 41,000 views and it has a link that's been reported. However, as you can see down here in the domain available section, it does not come up green and it does not show GoDaddy or Namecheap. That is because the domain is likely broken and it's not working, it's not in use. However, it hasn't completely dropped yet. So it's not available yet but it's still broken and probably forgotten about. And if we can see that there's a lot of traffic coming into this domain, we'll wanna be notified for a later date for when that domain drops. And we can do that by checking when the domain will expire and setting a domain reminder for us right here inside of my traffic jacker. So we can continue scrolling through our results in this section or we can just jump on over to the has available domains link and that will pull up everything that's available right now for us to buy. So we've glanced over this result here. I also wanna show you this other result about weight loss journey, and that has 485,000 views. And we have the URL and channel name that we can research further if we want, or we can just come down here, and if we wanna buy it right now, click one of these links. So I'm just gonna first click on Namecheap and show you how this will immediately auto-populate inside of our Namecheap account and show us that we can buy it all you have to do is click the add, add to cart button and check out, or we can come back here, click on GoDaddy, and if we wanna use GoDaddy, then it will pull up in GoDaddy for us to proceed and buy that domain right now. So now we're inside of the research tab, and I'll show you how you can use the Wikipedia feature. So all you have to do is click this plus button here to add our keyword, and then type in weight loss journey, now we could go back into our keywords research section to find additional keywords. Since I've shown you the results for weight loss journey in YouTube, I'm just going to explore what it's like in Wikipedia. So I'm gonna click this Wikipedia section. And if there's domains that we don't wanna see, we can just add that in here. Uh, to start doing its search inside of Wikipedia, all we do is click on the create button and it's gonna go out and research for Wikipedia pages and properties around the term weight loss journey. And so it's looking for articles, it's checking articles, it's discovering links. And so from all those links inside of the articles, it'll go out and individually look at each link that is expired and available to buy. So now that my traffic jacker has quickly gone out and done its search for weight loss journey inside of Wikipedia, we will see all the different Wikipedia results that have been reported for this topic. Now, obviously there's gonna be a lot of interesting domains inside of the pages that it finds around weight loss journey. And the pages that it finds are gonna be people like Star Jones, who's been a celebrity that has had a weight loss journey in the past. And so there's gonna be information about weight loss on her page for Wikipedia to report that for the topic of weight loss journey. And if we were to go on and further research the weight loss niche, we might find pages like reality TV shows or recipes or other articles that are related to weight loss. And similar to the YouTube feature, we will first see all of the links that have been reported inside of our results. So some of these links, like this domain here, fur is dead, is not available. And so if we go on, we will see, when we click on the domain, we will see something like this loading up or trying to load and it having some issues there. So it's been reported as broken. So it may not be available to buy right now, but we can add it inside the domain reminder section if we really like it. We do some further research and we can add it and then be notified when it's up to expire so that we can be first in line to pick this up. Now, other domains, as you can see here, are available to buy. Now, if we want to ignore all of the broken links and just see the ones that are available, we can see that 
this one here is available to buy. So we can do some further research on this domain and see all the properties that are associated to it. Or we can go into Namecheap and immediately pick it up. As we can see when we let this load that this domain is in fact available right now to buy. We can go on to this Wikipedia page and do more research about the page, see what it's all about, if there's some good information around weight loss inside of here. As you can see here, there's, there's mention of weight loss battle. Uh, if we were doing a search, we could probably see that there's weight loss journey. Here it is, weight loss journey. This is exactly our keyword. So we do have that keyword mentioned in here. So if our video or if our website that we're trying to rank is about the topic of weight loss journey, and we have an authority post in Wikipedia about weight loss journey, and we are able to get an expired domain in here that we can redirect to our property that we're trying to rank for, then it can definitely help out to give us extra link juice and give it more authority when we're able to backlink it from an authority page in Wikipedia. So when we find a domain inside of Wikipedia, I also like to quickly come over to Moz directory and see what it's like in there. So when we go in to do some research on that domain, we will find that the domain authority is a 12 and it has a variety of backlinks to that domain. And some of them carry a good page authority like this one here, page authority of 33, page authority of 32. Some of these can be very beneficial for sending link juice from relevant properties to that domain, which we can then link to whatever property that we're trying to rank. So if we want to pick that up right now, we can just click on Namecheap or we can click on GoDaddy and it'll auto populate right in here. GoDaddy is $11.99. We can just click add to cart or we can just come into Namecheap and add that to cart and that's $12.98. And we can now immediately get ownership over a domain that has relevant information inside of Wikipedia around the topic of our keyword. Cool, right? Click the link in the description for my price discounted special.